What in the world? Have you ever wondered why there's more air than chips in this bag? You've probably experienced this with other products you've purchased too. Pain reliever? I mean, come on. That's a lot of cotton there at the top, don't you think? So why is this acceptable? Why is it allowed? Well, the answer is something called slack fill. Slack fill is the difference between the actual capacity of a container and the volume of product contained within, and it can be classified as functional or non-functional. There are six categories the Code of Federal Regulations defines as functional slack fill. So, the reason these snack makers are allowed to get away with the excess air in chip bags is simply because it helps prevent damage during the shipping process, which falls under that third category. Unfortunately for us consumers though, that means the only cure for our salty sadness is another bag of chips. Let's consider another example of slack fill. This four ounce tin contains only three ounces of ground black pepper. That seems fine, right? Actually, no, this is misleading. The difference becomes apparent when we put the three ounces of pepper in a clear four ounce box. This is non-functional slack fill as it does not fall under those previously mentioned six categories. And that is the reason that we need to be cautious when designing our packaging. So go check out our packaging laws and regulations course to view some case studies and learn more about slack fill.